This is 360 Reverb. AudioEase's brand new Ambisonics Convolution Reverb, intended for head-tracked headphone reproduction. 360 Reverb is part of the 360 Pan Suite version 2. It comes with over 50 brand new impulse responses recorded with Ambisonic microphones. Put up some headphones, because the Ambisonics that you'll hear will be converted down to binaural using our 360 monitor. This is a clip of Danny and me recorded with a single Ambisonics microphone. Let's pan around a little bit. Maybe listen to it dry. Pretty dry room. I'll tighten this loop a little bit so we can listen to some more spaces. It always seemed to me that virtual reality is the perfect application for a convolution reverb like Altiverb. Being able to pick up real spaces and weave them into your 360 VR mixes and make it sound like you're really there. But when we started panning Altiverb's surround outputs into an ambisonic mix, it turned out to be really hard to hide the sources. It was like you could hear where they were. Plus, when you looked up or down, nothing happened. So we realized we had to start over. For head-tracked headphone reproduction, it turned out that nothing could beat recording impulse responses using an ambisonics microphone. It captures the entire 3D sphere from a single perspective. It sounds glorious on headphones, turning and tilting seamlessly when head-tracking. It sounds less ideal on speakers, but who cares? 360 is for headphones. So we went out for 360 reverb and recorded 50 plus completely new impulse responses for a completely new reverb. 360 reverb being ambisonics from the ground up offers great possibilities for widening and narrowing reverb, automatic pan following, but also distancing sources. I'll show you that in Pro Tools. First, I'll insert a reverb on this channel here, and from the work category I'll select the empty shop because that resembles my scene. Aram here is unloading a dishwasher. I'll insert a 360 pan on him and I'll switch it into the 360 reverb. So it has a private audio line to the reverb over there. change the puck color and move it there onto the countertop. Now I can play around with distance with this slider. And with. Note that I'm operating all my parameters from the Pro Tools video window. I'll insert another panner on myself there, also switch it into this same reverb, 
and now on to the boring bit where I'll follow myself around. So now I'm standing rather close but as I'm walking away Aramir will start unloading the dishwasher while I sound more and more reverberant and far away and as I walk around the table I will of course start sounding closer and closer again to the microphone. And now I'll automate the distance slider. So now I'm standing rather close but as I'm walking away Aramir will start unloading the dishwasher while I sound more and more reverberant and far away. As I walk around the table, I will of course start sounding closer and closer again to the microphone. Now that's a bit overdone, but it gets my point across. Each panner gets its own position, distance and width, all within a single reverb instance that is capable of switching seamlessly and instantly between 50 ambisonic spaces. 360 Reverb. Thanks for listening.